I'm Matthew McAuliffe and here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. Uruguay is set to become the second country in Latin America to legalize abortion now that its Senate has approved the legislation decriminalizing first trimester abortions. The leftist president of the country says he will sign the bill into law once it reaches his desk. Pro-lifers are already mobilizing to collect signatures for a referendum on the law once it is passed. A new business is launching in the United Kingdom that will offer women seeking in vitro fertilization various celebrity sperm donors to choose from. Fame Daddy will offer mothers in the United Kingdom the option of choosing fathers based on their achievements and other personal attributes in the areas of sports, entertainment, and business for a starting price of £15,000 for a, quote, premium service from the clinic. The new business venture is not up and running yet, but did launch its website last week. A new archbishop will be installed in Indianapolis. Today, the Pope named Archbishop Joseph Tobin as the new head of the archdiocese. After installing the very conservative Archbishop Salvatore Cordiglione in San Francisco, Pope Benedict's choice is being identified by some as a, quote, tack left movement. The archbishop will be installed later this year. A Texas judge is expected to rule today on a case stemming from atheist activists bullying high school cheerleaders over banners featuring Bible verses displayed at football games. After the Freedom From Religion Foundation claimed the public display violated the First Amendment, the school district ordered, to, ordered the cheerleaders to stop referring to the Bible with their banners. The actions by the school district prompted the cheerleaders to answer with a lawsuit of their own, and thus far the judge has granted an injunction allowing them to continue their displays while the Texas Attorney General is intervening on their behalf. Gallup is giving optimism to the Romney camp with its latest poll, showing Romney ahead of incumbent Obama in the race for the White House by a score of 51 to 45 percent. This poll measures likely voters in a national average, but does not cover the time period following the last presidential debate as Romney secures a razor's edge lead over Obama in the three swing states. The current Real Clear Politics average, which takes into account all of the most currently published polls, has Romney ahead of Obama nationally by about half a point. While tonight's controversial Al Smith dinner may be put on by a Catholic foundation, its board is actually run by supporters of the same pro-abortion Democratic plank as Obama, who will attend the, at Cardinal Dolan's invitation. The list of such individuals on the board for the Al Smith Memorial Foundation includes Al Smith IV himself, who has given campaign dollars to Clinton, Kerry, Dodd, and Kennedy, among others. You can read more about the dinner tonight and the board that put it together on our resource page by clicking on the link right outside the screen. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about how we are hardwired to confront evil. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends, and may God bless you.